There's been less than a week since we saw the redacted version of the Mueller report for the first time. And with hundreds of pages and more than 2,000 footnotes, it is a lengthy report that we are learning more about every day. Now the question is, what's next? LEX 18's Claire Kopsky is live in our studio with more in our continuing coverage. Claire, good morning. As politicians have had a few days to read at least some of the report, many are responding, still some calling for impeachment, others saying there's other ways to hold the president accountable, and still others, like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, saying the report was the end of the conversation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who's been against impeachment, told lawmakers in a letter yesterday that getting the facts needed to hold the president accountable can be acquired outside of impeachment hearings. She said we have to save our democracy. She continued by saying, quote, if it is what we need to do in our honor, our responsibility to the Constitution, if that's the place the facts take us, that's the place we have to go. While in Owensboro yesterday, McConnell told reporters the Mueller report should be the final word in the matter and that the American people, in his view, have had quite enough of the investigation. Uh, this, this investigation was about collusion. Uh, there was no collusion. Uh, no charges brought against the president on anything else. And I think the speaker has actually been discouraging uh, talk of impeachment, but that's really up to the House. If they want to do that, they can. I think the American people would like to move on from this. Senators and presidential candidates Elizabeth Warren and Kamala or Camilla Harris have called for the president's impeachment. There are just a few asking for the president to face the details of the report in an impeachment process. Claire, back to you.